welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principle I'm your host Shaheen in today's video we are going to cover a lot and we are trying to be really quick uh, in the analysis I'm going to discover I'm going to discuss uh, four miners actually two of them silver miners two of them gold miners we'll look at Tesla we'll also look at the silver uh, USD pair which is the uh, XAG USD and we'll also look at gold pair we'll in the end we'll also look at the euro and see how euro is ending so <coughs> in front of here is a very good uh, uh, stock that I've uh, actually made purchase in these four stocks so if you think that my opinion may be uh, some kind of uh, have uh, a f not so neutral factor then I want to let you know that since I have made purchase in these four stocks so there is a possibility that it might not be neutral in the analysis so first of all let's have a look at the BT go B2 gold corp and uh, it's uh, listed on New York uh, stock exchange and it's all also listed I think on uh, TSX as well so first of all you pay attention to uh, 2011 it, that data around 2011 2012 we can see that the recent hike in the price has clearly crossed the previous historical levels that's a very good sign for it to stay bullish and then you can also see not only that the prices went up we can see that the prices have come down and created a, a double tap as well so that's a very good indication and it's right off the uh, previous historical levels and if you look pay attention towards our volume volume has been going up uh, the company has been paying uh, dividends recently as well so this all seems very positive for the company and looking at the price of gold as well I can assume that the price of uh, B2 gold corp stock shares will also go up as well so I'm not putting uh, labeling as well if you want to put start labeling as well you want to start from here wave 1 and 2 right over here and then you can also all consider here is wave 3 and wave 4 and then we're expecting a huge price uh, movement in wave 5 not a huge but a quite a strong we will definitely be looking to go beyond 690 to create wave 5 and then we'll look at after that and the second uh, stock that uh, is also gold related uh, so B T uh, G uh, is uh, this is the ticker symbol B T G is pretty active. I'm considering this as a pretty active because of the high volume and high prices. I'm considering it as very high active uh, stock. On the other hand, uh, Galliano Gold Inc is not so active. He is still around somewhere low levels. The reason I have picked so far is because uh, it's still around historical low levels and I have made a purchase in Galliano as well. If you are interested, you can look at this GAU.TO and uh, <coughs> it's in Toronto TSX exchange. So I've the reason I am uh, or the only reason because it's a small company. It's not a large company. We have not seen a lot of volume in this area. If you guys pay attention there's not a volume in this area although when actually prices were coming down there was a lot of volume so a lot of strong selling occurred right at this end so far we have not seen the increase in volume uh, we did see some push in prices but then same came below so the only reason I purchased is a small company because that might be actually going up we already seen from wave 1 and 2 and another wave 1 and 2 oh, that's how I'm considering it as I'm expecting the prices of course to go up because the price of gold is expected to go up and let's have a look at the third miner this is first majestic silver corp is uh, once again very uh, active is one of the very most active uh, stocks that I'm considering for silver uh, and if you look at the uh, uh, the volume from this uh, after this historic low it has been going up really and then we have considered wave wave 1 and this is wave 2 as a double zigzag pattern or you can consider it as a single zigzag pattern as well and then we have seen a series of wave 1 and 2 another wave 1 and 2 I'm expecting that we will start seeing strength in uh, first majestic silver corp as well and as you guys can see they're not paying any dividends so if you are interested in that you'll have to consider that let's have a look at the fourth one is silver corp metals it's very interesting the one I'm considering as a medium term strength uh, for silver uh, the reason I'm discussing these especially silver ones is because the premium on the bullion is so high I would not be uh, willing to actually pay that premium that they are asking for physical bullion so I've decided to make purchase in the stocks instead of actually going for the physical bullion 
So I will consider this as wave 1 and 2 and then we have Hulk or you can consider that 2 as right over here expanded flat right over here right so wave 1 and then A and B and then C and then we have another scene wave 1 and 2. So this seems very really bullish for uh, the stock we can see the silver corp is making uh, is going to be making new highs uh, and then we'll also have once I'm done with this we'll pay attention toward the silver chart let's have a look at the volume indication so if you look at the previous volume the volume have been decreasing after the middle of the part and then it started increasing from this bottom so we have quite as not strong uh, volume as we have seen in BTG but still a handsome amount of volume in there so I'm still uh, I'm bullish on uh, silver corp uh, it's traded on uh, uh, New York Stock Exchange and it also traded on TSX as well. Let's have a look on our traditional, uh, the other uh, waves that we look. Before we can head on, uh, actually yeah, we can discuss gold. So in my previous analysis, I went on from saying, considering that we will probably price see prices going down, I stated that no, I've changed my point of view and then we have seen uh, a bit of jump not as strength as much we were expecting but we uh, the point is we have seen this uh, the prices of the support area right over here if you guys can see this is important support area we have the uh, seen the uh, price of gold rising so I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 4 and this whole price movement as wave 2 now and I'm bullish on gold I believe that we might have actually created a bottom in gold right over here it looks very 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 less likely that we'll actually go see these prices again so all of that is visible from the miners uh, volume and miners uh, chart making new highs and uh, testing old historic lows as well so this is wave one this is wave two wave three and wave four uh, we might have actually i think we have completed probably wave four and then we'll probably see starting new prices high and we are definitely going to see new high in gold somewhere around probably uh, 2200 area 2300 area so that's a definite indication let's have a look at uh, silver uh, i believe that we have created already a bottom in silver so consider this uh, gone and we have considered this gone these labels we have to correct them I did mention that I am bullish on silver but I wasn't able to um, update these symbols uh, I mean the labels so let's have a look over a second give you a moment it will be all over there So on the daily chart, there is here a silver uh, a little miss mess up, and that there is a possibility that we are actually looking at into a some sort of ending diagonal. There is a possibility. We have to keep that in mind. We have also kept in mind that this is we can consider as wave one and wave two, and we can consider it as wave three and wave four, or we can consider it as wave one and two. In both cases, I'm looking that we are actually positive on silver. Silver is expecting to go up. So we need to consider this pattern, the completion of this pattern before, uh, and that pattern is yet not complete. The start of the pattern is actually start from over here. Once that pattern is complete, we might see some completion, uh, some correction. So when gold starts coming down, we will see some correction, but in the, and uh, that could be shallow, that not be that deep. So prices go up and then come down. So let's say we were saying $40 an ounce, uh, that stay in hand i would say right now it's being traded at 26 i would say more kind of around 33 to 35 dollar an ounce and then we'll probably see some return of the price action so i'm bullish on silver i'll have to update the chart forgive me for that please so next one is euro mm. so i'm considering this top from this bottom as a double zigzag single zigzag correction and double zigzag and then believe we have created a double bottom on four hourly chart well let's have a look at one hourly chart and there's a possibility that we have created a bottom right over here so we can use uh, the regular equal ratio tool and then we can see that the prices are finding support at 75 percent so it looks like that we can have, have find of support right over here um, we can consider it as small degree wave 1 and small degree wave 2 and then we are expecting to be bullish in silver I mean in euro let me show you the, what's happening on the weekly chart 
on the monthly chart so actually you can have some sense of the direction so this is historic this goes as back as around 1971 and then we can s easily draw a trend line and then we can see that the prices have actually been going up from 1971 if I can draw a trend line here we go it's not as sharp as you're looking but we can actually so as a whole we can see that price is kind of jumped off along next to the trend line there's a possibility and that's what I'm going with and the possibility is that I'm expecting that price will go up in euro right over here it go right over here and then we'll have some sign of correction back down over here so I'm considering that we will have wave A, B and C and this is wave 1 that's how I'm going right now so although there is a, some strength expected in silver uh, I mean in euro I'm not expecting all the way over the year let's have a quick look on Tesla so I have labeled uh, I've increased my chart once again uh, do some changes on the Tesla chart if you are uh, monthly chart so now the labeling is a little changed. I'm considering this as wave 1 and 2 right over here and then the whole wave 3 right over here and then wave 4 and this whole as wave 5 so some important price levels are in front of you I'm expecting that we have comp actually completed wave 1, 2, 3 and 4 has yet not complete so prices went up came down they're expected to come down and make another double top and then once that will be wave 4 and after that we are expecting the prices right over here some support levels for price uh, on, uh, right on the upside support is $715 that's and from the bottom our resistance is expected to be somewhere around $360 if you are uh, like the content please press uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel thanks again have a good one and bye bye